Welcome to Guatemala. Hello and welcome to beautiful Antigua, Guatemala. And welcome to our channel. We're Eric and Sarah. And we spent eight months in 2021 traveling through Ecuador and Peru. And we just recently arrived here in Central America and are so excited to explore. We are so pumped. <laughs> we just flew into Guatemala City a couple of days ago and we came straight here to Antigua. And we thought it would be a good idea to show you guys our first impressions of Guatemala. And actually, we've been here once before, about five years ago, yeah. and that was long before our vlogging days. <laughs> yeah, so it's going to be kind of more like our second first yeah. impressions, but <laughs> this place is absolutely beautiful. We're here in the central park of Antigua right now, and it is just so amazing. It's so stunning. <laughs> What are you getting a close up of there, Eric? I know there's a lot of water coming out of a lot of different places here. You can't get too many shots of that, otherwise, this isn't gonna be a PG 13 video anymore. <laughs> <laughs> So before we give you our first impressions of Guatemala, we thought we'd give you a little bit of information on the country. Guatemala is located in Central America and it borders Mexico, Belize, Honduras, and El Salvador. It also has a Pacific coast and a Caribbean coast. And we're really excited to be here for the next six to seven weeks because we get to explore the wonderful geographies of Guatemala. There are volcanoes, lakes, jungle, ruins, and of course the coast, as I already said. So we are really excited to be here, and we also thought we'd give you a little bit of information on what we're hoping for this series. So we're creating a new series called A Month In, and this is going to be basically an all-inclusive travel guide to the countries that we travel. So we're gonna make some videos, mostly informational, about how to travel these countries, where to go, what to do, uh, what, where to eat, and uh, yeah, maybe also a little bit of the culture as well. So we're really excited about this series. And if you want to follow along, please subscribe to our channel because you'll get to see it all. So one of our absolute favorite things about Guatemala is how rich in culture it is. From when you immediately step off the first bus, you can see people wearing traditional clothing, there's traditional colors and paintings everywhere, and you hear different languages, and it's just really beautiful. So Guatemala was believed to be the original core of the Mayan civilization, and then was eventually conquered by Spain in the 16th century until it eventually gained its independence in 1821. So because of this rich history, there's a lot of Mayan and Spanish culture that's intertwined here. So the majority of people in Guatemala are what they call mestizo, which means Hispanic and Mayan or of origin. And then the other largest group is actually just Mayan descendants. So it's it's a really cool mix of culture here. And actually there's over 25 languages that are commonly spoken here and when we we're speaking to one of our friends from Guatemala yesterday she was telling us that most Guatemalans actually speak Spanish as a second language even though it is the official language here most people grow up speaking a different language first and then learning Spanish later on so we just think that's really cool and it's just amazing to experience all the culture when you're here in, in Antigua. Okay, I found all of Eric's doppelgangers. Look at these guys. They all look exactly like you. I don't think so. It's literally you. Okay, fine, maybe that guy. Which one? This <laughs> <Okay>. guy. <laughs> what about this one? They're all you. Maybe, I don't know. 
<laughs> Look at them all. Hey man, sick pipe. Okay, so we're stopping for some quick food. We stopped at this restaurant called Rincon Tipico, which just means uh, typical corner. So it's supposed to have really typical Guatemalan food. So what do we got here? Okay, so today we've ordered a uh, chile relleno, which is basically just uh, pepper stuffed with like chicken and a bunch of different things. And then it obviously comes with tortillas and with some rice and potato salad. Yeah. And there's even actually some like tomato sauce, which I think probably you just either dip some things in or kind of pour it over your rice. This also came with a soup that Sarah absolutely devoured. It was so good. <laughs> of course, when you eat in Central America, you have to get your Coca-Cola. And all of this with the drink is about 45 quetzales. And so that's approximately $6 US for all of this. So pretty good. All right, try it yeah, out. Let's try this stuff. Put a little bit of tomato sauce on it. Oh. Whoa. That's so good. That's delicious. Our next vlog will be a full Guatemala food vlog. So make sure you subscribe to make sure you don't miss that video because we'll go a lot more in depth on different foods that are typical here in Guatemala. So now that we've gotten some of the information out of the way, let's talk about our first impressions of our first week here in Guatemala. So for us, uh, one of the first things that hits you is the weather. Mm -hmm. So we came from uh, snowy Canada, it's <laughs> January, so uh, it's, it's actually really nice to come to a warmer country. I wouldn't say it's like extremely hot. We're in the dry season and kind of like the hotter season here. Of course now it looks like it's gonna rain. But that's just our luck. Just how if you followed any us. of our videos, that's, this is our <laughs> luck. Everyone tells us it's not supposed to rain here at all right now, but of course the day we're filming it's gonna rain. But of course it's, <laughs> it's, it's just really nice and mild here. Like yeah. it's, it's about 23 degrees uh, just about every day. And um, yeah, it's uh, awesome. it, doesn't, it doesn't rain typically during the season. Uh, and yeah, it's pretty, pretty nice. It's a wonderful climate. And our second first impression is it feels very safe here. Now obviously this is our impression of Antigua, so yeah. this might not apply to every city in Guatemala, but we feel super safe here, safe walking around at night. It feels super safe during the day. Yeah. And yeah, we just love, we love that part. Yeah, I think it's easy to be like afraid of like, especially like the bigger cities. Yeah. Uh, but I think because of the, the way that Guatemala is set up, for tourism, it actually works quite well. Um, going through the, the Gringo Trail is actually yeah. very safe. Yeah. So that kind of brings us to our next point, which is tourism. It's very well set up here. Yeah. It's actually pretty awesome. There's a there's um, lots of different places to go and a, lo a lot of different like tour companies as well. So there's, um, yeah. Yeah, like really good food, really good totally. cafes if you're a digital nomad. Yeah. It's just, it's very clean. And every like hostel we've been at has had like shuttles to every like yeah. place you might want to totally. go and all the tours like it's very well set up for tourism so if you're like maybe just setting out on a journey and yeah. you're kind of nervous about Latin America like yeah. Guatemala would be a great place to start because it's very well set up and very yeah. easy to navigate and there's lots of tourists around yeah and then our last thing is just that the Guatemala people are so friendly yeah like when you walk down the street just everyone says hello to you with a big smile on yeah. their face they just seem genuinely happy to see you and interact with you and also like no one's pushing um, yeah. like shopping on you, which we've had in other countries. So you walk by vendors that are selling things yeah. and they'll, they'll be happy to interact with you, but no one's kind of pushing you to buy their things or to come to their store, which we really like too. It just feels like everyone's genuinely happy yeah. to interact with us. And we really love that. All the Guatemalan people we've met totally. so far have just been incredibly and it's, friendly. And it's, it feels almost different than other Latin American countries that yeah. we've been to. Like it, it is actually just more friendly. Yeah. yeah, we love it. So far it's been a great week. <laughs> So of course these first impressions are just that, first impressions. We've only been here for like a week, so we thought it would be a good idea to ask a couple of people what Guatemala really is like. OK, 
¿Qué son tres palabras sobre Guatemala? Tres palabras sobre Guatemala. Única, original y mágica. Excelente. Perfecto. Muchas gracias. Guate es cultura, sabor y calidez. Tres. Tengo conflicto con la última. Creo que definitivamente colorido, amable y rico. ¿Qué son tres palabras sobre Guatemala? Ah, para mí, personalmente, siendo guatemalteca chapina, eh, creo que la cultura maya que sigue viva, eh, los colores que son muy vibrantes y se notan por, todo, por todas partes, por todos los pueblitos, y pues con eso viene la autenticidad, que la verdad es que es un pueblo que es muy auténtico a su cultura, a sus personas, a su comida, y pues... Dije tres palabras. No. ¡Tres! <risa> ¡Las son tres! <risa> Latinas. <risa>